The West African Regional Bloc, ECOWAS, is an institution in crisis. Three of its 15 member states want out. And there is a political crisis in Senegal after President Macky Sall delayed the presidential elections due in February. If there has been any time for ECOWAS to stay together, this is the time. If we have been ever challenged, this is actually the time we have been most challenged. Nigeria, which chairs the regional group, is asking members to continue dialogue and warning about the consequences of failure. The exit from ECOWAS would be much worse than the sanctions in terms of the hardship that it would put, it would place uh, the citizens of these three countries. So we don't wish it upon them. We don't want to see that. Officials here see Senegal's recent political crisis as an unnecessary distraction. Its foreign minister attended Thursday's meeting, insisting the situation there is not critical. The president has initiated a dialogue. The situation doesn't require external intervention from ECOWAS, AU or other bodies. While the ECOWAS ability to intervene in Senegal is limited, it's focusing on the rebellion by Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger. The three Sahel region countries were already suspended from the bloc after recent coups. Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger say the organization has derailed and is pandering to the wishes of foreign powers. So they're leaving. But ECO says its rules require one year's notice before membership is ended. But the three countries, all under military rule, say they're leaving anyway. The United Nations warns that the unfolding political crisis threatens the entire region. Should these countries definitively withdraw from ECOWAS, this has a potential to further exacerbate the challenges that these three countries and the sub-region are facing, notably in the socio-economic and security fields. ECOWAS has options before it, to blink and submit to the wishes of the rebelling countries or continue its blockade and sanctions. Either way, political analysts say it could be a long time before the organization recovers from this current crisis. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Abuja. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.